I make a lot of protein milkshakes for the channel, but I love blizzards too. The only problem is they are over 1300 calories. This month's blizzard of the month is the animal cracker blizzard. And that is one of my childhood pastimes. So today in the anabolic laboratory, we will be making a blizzard for less than 500 calories and double the volume of the 1300 calorie blizzard at Dairy Queen. My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes and I also review almost anything that has to do with the fitness world. So if you're into that kind of thing, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you're ready to get stuffed to the gillets, then let's get into it. There are three components to this. One, getting the soft serve blizzard correct. Two, the animal crackers. And three, the frosting. Do you want a cream harder than last time? I thought you would. This white chocolate peanut butter divine protein milkshake is just one of three recipes that I've curated for Greg's new cookbook. If you want to support the channel, please click the link in the pinned comment below and buy the freaking cookbook. Thank you, and let's make America cream again. Over the last two days, I have made 10 different frostings. I will show you guys the video where I used the basis for this recipe from, so you guys know where I got it, but it does take about eight to 10 minutes to actually make. However, once you do make it, you have eight servings worth of frosting for your animal cracker blizzard, ready to go. And literally it couldn't get more simple. Three ingredients. One, Cool Whip. Now we're gonna use this whole thing of Cool Whip and make sure when you're about to use it that you already have it in the fridge. If you have it in the freezer, it's going to take much longer to mix up and you're just gonna have to blend it for longer. See, this is already soft and ready to go, but I am still gonna blend it for a minute on its own. Now we're gonna have to grab our scale here and weigh out 10 grams of vanilla jello and now we're gonna mix for a good five minutes or so so get your time on the clock and we will be back in just a second now you could see minute by minute it just getting thicker and thicker from the jello and look at this great frosting consistency but we want that real vanilla taste and we need it to be pink just like the blizzard so i have my red food coloring and i have my vanilla extract, and we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, or about 4.2 grams or four grams, if you don't have a point scale, and six drops of the red food dye. Now we're gonna mix this up again for about two to three minutes, and then we'll be all done with our frosting. Now it is by no means anabolic like I was hoping for it to be, but it was the best tasting, most real consistency of a frosting. So that won me over, over making it more quote unquote anabolic. This is good to go. And it's about half the calories for the same amount of volume as a regular frosting. So you're still saving 50% calories overall. For the meantime, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and we will get our animal crackers all ready. As far as animal crackers goes, these are the ones they use. I can almost guarantee it. Target has these. I would highly recommend you get these ones if you actually wanna copy the recipe as close as possible. We're gonna weigh out 24 grams of these and we're gonna chop them up just like we did with our Oreos and I'm sure other milkshakes that we've made on this channel as well. Now you can do this when you're blending but I don't like to worry about it so I like to get it done beforehand and I like to do a lot of smaller pieces because I like to get animal crackers in almost every single bite and this achieves that but do as you please and we're gonna weigh everything out on top of the paper plate on top of the blender if you're already a fellow cream teamer you will know that I usually use way more liquid in this but we needed that blizzard consistency. So we're going to weigh out 70 grams of whatever milk you want and then 80 grams of Greek yogurt. Now, if you're making the frosting, which I highly recommend, you're going to have to buy two of these Cool Whips. I forgot to say too, these are the light versions. The sugar-free are the same calories. So I'd rather go with the light and have the real sugar. And we're going to do 18 grams 
of the Cool Whip. And this one should be in the freezer because this will help make it creamy as we're mixing. And then we'll add our vanilla extract, four grams of this as well, and two grams of salt. And what would a protein milkshake be without ice? 460 grams of ice. And if you haven't already liked the video, to find this blizzard consistency, it was so dang hard. And I want everyone to be eating anabolic blizzards, ice creams, whatever, as well and getting to their goals. Now we're gonna cover this up and blend for one minute. No more, no less, one exact minute. And then we will mix everything up and add the rest of the ingredients. Now mixing is more important than ever when you're making a blizzard. So if you could see, it's super creamy and well blended down here and it's straight ice chunks up top. What we have to do is bring this creaminess to the top, ice chunks, to the bottom and we will get rid of those ice chunks on the second and the third mix. But we have to make sure we mix well. Now it is also crucial that we go in this order of adding the ingredients or else it won't mix the right way. Trust me, I've been doing this for like eight months now and if you don't add them this way, the consistency is not gonna be the same, especially with the blizzard. Seven grams of our vanilla pudding mix. Another crucial point, ever since Mina Ayub showed me not only the Cool Whip trick, but also using both Xanthan and Guar Gum, my creams have never been creamier. So if you only have one, it'll work. You would use three grams. But if you have both and you can use a gram and a half of each, I promise you that it will be so much creamier. As well, if you buy the other one, you will literally have these two for I don't know, I use them at least once a day, if not two or three times, if I'm testing a recipe, you will probably have these for a damn year, which anything that I use is in the description below if you wanna purchase it, but just for the sheer fact that this is literally so much creamier, I would get both of them if you have the budget to do so, which is like $10. Now we'll add our vanilla bodybuilding protein and we're going with a scoop and a quarter for me that's about 40 41 grams now creatine isn't necessary this is my post-workout shake that i'm having as soon as this video is done being recorded and i haven't had my creatine yet and i usually have it in my protein ice cream for the day so i'm adding it in there and i like to level the playing field at this point and then i'm going to use my urethritol 14 grams this one's pure cane you can use swerve whatever you want this one's just way cheaper most of the time. And that's it. One minute, once again, and I will see you back. Okay, bye. Again, this mix is crucial. There's so much buildup of the protein powder up on the sides and some of what is going to thicken and make our shake more or blizzard more voluminous. And then the best way to get the protein off the sides is to get it with all of the shake and then you could do like a window wiper and wipe it off it's way easier but i mean look at the consistency already before our last mix and if you look in here it also looks like i just blended up soft serve the sides are completely wiped down everything is level that's exactly what we want we're going to get the top back on and we are going to go one more minute. Now we need to get our frosting back out and I'm going to legitimately pipe this. You don't have to do it how I do it, but this is going to get an even spread. So I like to cut the tip off just a regular plastic bag here and then you put it in your cup here and I'm going to take about 35 grams out instead of just 30 because I'm going to lose some in the bag. Perfect. All right. See how I already have it in the corner. That's why it's really nice to be able to put it into the cup. And all we're gonna do is squeeze when we're ready. As for this, you see the blizzard, they hand it to you at the window. Hey Rick, oh hey. If this were my milkshake, would have landed right on my head. Now I'm gonna add about half of my animal crackers and mix them in right now. What DQ does is they do another blend with the icing, but I don't wanna do it that way. You guys can do it that way if you want, but I'm going to put the icing or frosting right on top and scoop into it and oh my god it's so good and it's going to be for you know a good half of the shake you'll have the frosting and then you'll have the animal crackers on the top and throughout so even after mixing still nothing coming out but we will get it into our pitcher here this is literally going to be the best anabolic blizzard on youtube i can guarantee it you guys should do a review of any anabolic blizzard that's on YouTube and compared to this one. The consistency, thickness, there's no fluffiness whatsoever. There's 
gobs of sweetness and gobs of animal crackers and beautiful tasty frosting in almost every single bite. God, I can't wait for you guys to try this. We're gonna pipe it right now, and I'm just going to go in a circle here. Now the frosting does include sprinkles. I really don't like these sprinkles because the colors go everywhere. They don't keep their color. So I'm just gonna add them on the top. I'm not counting this into the calories. This is like two or three grams I'm putting on top. That's it. And then we will top it off with these beautiful, tasty animal crackers. Almost a full pitcher here, under 500 calories. I'm asking you, no, I'm begging you to make this. So like I said, I just like to go in and get a nice bite. It's just so many different textures. You have the texture of a soft serve cream. And by the way, it's about 85% of a soft serve. Obviously I cannot get full calorie Dairy Queen soft serve, but we are 85% there. I guarantee that. And then you get on top of it, the little bit of sprinkles, the crunch of the animal crackers as well, and like the smooth creaminess of the frosting. You can't beat it. If we don't go over the macros right now, I am not going to be able to stop eating that. And I will also post Dairy Queen's terrible ass macros on the other side. We get 498 calories 43 and a half or 44 grams of protein, 62 carbs and 14 fat. And people stop counting the carbs as calories. Most of them count in this one, but there's a lot of times where there's swerve and swerve isn't calories. So just wanted to mention that. But 500 calories, five and a half cups for I think 21 ounces at Dairy Queen, we're talking 1300 calories. Night and day difference. This tastes 90% as good. The frosting is very similar. The soft serve creaminess is there and you get all of the animal cracker bites in between. In all seriousness about my ad from earlier, I would not be where I am right now without you guys. Any of you guys that have subscribed or liked the videos or even just watched the videos have supported the channel as is and I'm more than grateful for all of that. And I am truly blessed to be able to be part of Greg's cookbook. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.